Wake up! Finally! Jeez, you were out cold, Liz. You really were out there to the world, huh? You're at the workshop, Lizzie. In Pack Rat where you work, and I'm technically your boss, though I like to think we're all on the same team here. My name is Fred. Starting to ring any bells yet? Please tell me you're kidding. You people sometimes. Tell you what, Lizzie. You're clearly running low on steam. I really shouldn't do this. But you need the rest. The mother matron won't appreciate your slacking. Perhaps you can make it up in the coming weeks. Go home, get some sleep. Maybe stop by Spruce's clinic, too. Get a checkup. You have two days off, max. Lizzie, go!
Yes, yes, I'll be right there. Stitching someone up back here. Ah, Lizzie. Been a while. Those are some dark bags under your eyes. Working long hours? Not sleeping lately? <laughs> ah, of course he would. You have to be sick. It can't be his fault at all, right? <laughs> Jerkwad. Let's give you a checkup anyways. Follow me to the exam room. Oh, thanks. I squeeze in a little here and there. Usually when I have to watch someone close while they sleep. Oh, you know what I mean. Folks in recovery. At least a few people that experience seizures. Stuff like that. Anyways, I'm proud of how it's looking. Genuinely can't believe I found that poster in such nice condition. I'm happy. No, nah, it's plastic. A patient that scabs and junks a lot gave it to me as a thank you. Trust me, if I wanted to get a real skeleton, I wouldn't have to look very hard. Really wish I had a skull, though. Everything seems good from what I can see. But that's just what I can see. Tell me how you're doing. Anything odd lately? Odd sensations, pain, nausea, shortness of breath, stuff like that. What kind of things? I actually do believe you. Just thinking. Wish I could say this is the first time I've heard something like that, but... Well, some of the mumblers I'm taking care of now said stuff like that. Before they turned. Yeah. Can I trust you to keep a secret? I'm only telling you because I think it's important you know. Contrary to what people think, the crepuscule isn't the only place where mumblers are made. Not anymore, at least. Not in the slightest. Granted, people have broken down before around the boarding, but this is different. Mumblerism, or whatever, it's like a complete detachment from reality. As I said, it's really rare. I only have a few cases out of all the people I tr I'm trying to keep it under wraps, as I haven't gotten to study enough people to get a grasp of the emer- Mumblers already don't get the best treatment by most people. Imagine how people- To be clear, I don't want you to jump to the conclusion that you might simply be having sleep deprivation induced hallucinations. Or maybe some gas from junks is making the air a little funny. Hell, maybe the shit you- I mean, shipyard. It's just more rank than usual. For now, I'll give you some medicine that should help with the anxiety. Stop back for rec- It's a mixture of lavender, valerian, lemon balm, St. John's wort, and some other stuff that makes it taste good. My latest and so far most effective concoction, or so my patients tell me. Anything else worrying you today? All right, that's good. 
I don't see anything else abnormal with you, so I think we're done. Oh, while I go get stuff together for you, can you run that bucket of food over there to the shack out back? Yeah, it's about lunchtime and they need to eat. Would you mind? <laughs> Great, thanks. There's keys hanging up by the door. There's rain. The water flows, and where the water flows, so does the blood. Where the blood pools, the flies gather. They gather there and at the waist. He buzz around the bodies. Where dignity has been soiled, it smells rotten, rotten iron and fat. If you listen to the flies buzzing for long enough, the music emerges. Have you ever heard the song of the flies? It's a chorus for us. Feast on our flesh as we dissolve, and the bones get comfortable with the sun. There's the sky, yet it's fine. The My dear child, the very thought of you warms me so. Seeing you and your siblings grow through the years is always my special delight. Every so often, I must rely on my children's support to do what must be done for the collective good, even if it means sending my darlings into the jaws of danger. This letter is to inform you that you have been personally selected to become a surveyor. This is a t You will be paired with two boys named Pucks and Rich. As soon as you receive this letter, you are to meet with them, make preparations for your journey below, and visit me at my dwelling in Mother's Tower. Attempts to shirk your duty will be met with severe punishment. I will see you soon, my dear. With all the love in the world, your mother matron. Did you ever hear the story about the girl in the sweater? Of course not. It's still being written. A year ago, Starlight Quizzling. I'm so excited. What am I? What are you? What is anything? Anything was nothing at all. Everything and anything were nothing once. And they became children. I think things would have been better if they stayed as living. The disease called existence was widespread and cancerous. Extremely virulent. It infected everything that was nothing and forced it to deal with the pain of being. Forcing things to exist again. Happy exist. Negative. Terrible. Hey, Katie! Hey, Jenny! Hey! 
Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Lizzie. You seem chipper. I thought you'd be... What do you mean? Oh, well, I... I saw the poster come by and drop something off at your place. They don't come as prize. The old boy doesn't want to visit the shit zone. Is it one of those letters? Yeah. Red seal. Oh no. No. Ouch. Hope you don't die or lose your mind. Janine! What? Just being real. It was nice knowing you. Don't be so insensitive. It's okay. I'm still processing things, but I'm holding it together. I still have things to do before... before I go. Anything we can help with? Sweet dibs on the bed. Janine! Lighten up, I'm kidding. Let's be real though. Would dying really be the worst thing that could happen to you? Oh my god, what is with you today? Oh, like you and I haven't had this exact conversation before. Everyone else wants to make it. Like the toilet bowl they live in doesn't stink of shit. Doesn't everything about this place make you feel like... Janine, what are you even saying? That we'd all be better off dead? Kinda. Not like I'm rushing to the noose or anything, but I feel like it would be a relief. Seems like a really sad way to look at life. Life can be hard, but there's always bright spots worth seeing. People to love, happy moments that stay with you forever. I can't say she doesn't have a point, though. I mean, I know where things are heading. Maybe it's better I make peace with it. Don't talk like that, Lizzie. You're going to come back. I know you will. Maybe I know that no one has. It doesn't matter. You'll be the first. You'll make it back in one piece. Even if you don't believe it, I do. I believe in you, Lizzie. Katie. Uh, for what it's worth, if anyone was to ever make it back, I think it would be someone like you. Still got dibs on the bed, though. I thought you were a fan of this. I mean, I look up to her and read the scriptures like most everyone else, but it's different than meeting her in person. Fair enough. Unfortunately, I've never met her, so I wouldn't know. Beyond comprehension. You there, the beautiful lady. 
Come, come, try Mini Marissa's signature cuts. Ah, I see my reputation precedes me. Another eager customer looking for the most scrumptious, sumptuous, munches meat. You will be disappointed. Feast your eyes before you feast. Once you get a glimpse of my cups, you won't stop drooling. Oh, don't worry, I provide free napkins. I told you, it's the tastiest and most unique meat in the market. For my supply, of course. <laughs> you think I resell other people's cuts? Ha, the nerve. Trade secret for investors only. You know what isn't a secret though? How delicious it is! Read the reviews. Come on, it's only 30 drops. Savor the flavor. Doesn't it look soft? Mouth watering? Doesn't it get that stomach grumbling? Shopper. Don't you know that's rude? Come on. Uh -huh. That's a good customer. Open wide. Flavors out of this world, huh? So, how much would you like to buy? Hm, some nerve you've got. Really? What, and you can't just meet them at her town? They would have got the same note, too. Okay, fine. Stop giving me those sad baby rat eyes. I'll help if I can, but no promises of 18 drop a front. I don't know a lot of well. Uh, no, I. Uh, uh, so, 